So this is the U Gears antique box. And as you look at it and you see the fretwork designed all around it, the beautiful carvings on it, this always reminds me of those beautiful Ukrainian, Russian churches uh, that have that beautiful carving, wooden carving in it, that's just so, so familiar and so uh, typical uh, of that architectural style. And it's been reproduced here as well, which is no surprise, of course, because U Gears, as you may well remember, uh, stands for Ukrainian Gears. Uh, and that is where the company's founders come from. But it is absolutely stunning. You could have produced a mechanical box that had no beauty to it whatsoever. You could have just uh, put it together with the, the various panels with no decoration on it. But that's not their style. And it isn't um, uh, how they like to create things. If they can go the extra mile, they always will. So what is special about this one? Well, it's not only a beautiful model of gearing that makes the whole mechanism work together. It's also quite useful too. A little latch, which you can see unclicks with a little damped rubber band to allow you to unlatch it. Flip up the latch like that, and then you can open the box up. And as you do so, you can see it expands. And it expands to give you eight different compartments. I'm going to leave it there just for a second or so. So you can say, hang on a minute, John. I can only see one, two, three, four, five, six. There are eight. And there are two secret ones right at the back here. So I'm just going to put my finger in and release that one and that one too. And you can see, again, damped with a little rubber band, allowing the lids to pop up. You've got two secret compartments in there as well. And that's where you can put stuff to keep them well away from prying eyes. OK, let's close those off. And actually the simplest way to close these is to press the two front drawers here. Um, and you can see the whole thing concertinas back into position and the latch goes in as well. If I hold it up to you to take a closer look, you can see the gearing inside there. And that is the mechanism that allows the whole thing to expand with one movement. And that's at the heart of what U gears do. They create things that are geared, that are engineered, designed to be creative as objects of art, but also to prove that engineering can be beautiful as well. And this one certainly does, as I say. You look at it immediately and it's, it's beautiful to have simply on your shelf, uh, even on your dressing table, for example. I'll open it up one more time and I also want to show you, remember this comes flat packed. So as we open up the top, you can see at the front here, there are two sections that have this beautiful curve on it. Now, everything is laser cut, so it's very, very fine, but they've managed to do that with the plywood that these are made out of, sustainable plywood, as we, we've already discussed. And these are then bent into shape because they've been cut with these intricate sites, slides and, and cuts that allow it to bend. It also demonstrates, actually, that we see at the front here, that you can see these gears, tooth gears, that allow the whole thing to push back in. And as it does so, it operates the whole of the rest of the mechanism. Again, on the inside here, we have these beautiful areas which are curved up, which actually means things don't get stuck in the corners, as they often can in, uh, in tiny little compartments. But again, that's all to do with the way that it has been carved. It has been laser cut to allow the wood to bend. It's so clever. I'll pop it back down again, fold it up one more time for you so you can see how the mechanism goes together. I'll t try and hold it so that you can see one more time at the sides there, just how those gears work as well. I don't know if you can see them rotating as the whole mechanism comes apart, but that gives you an idea that this is not just a set of boxes. These have been carefully engineered so that they all fit together. And one single movement drives all of the compartments to open up at the same time. Beautifully carved, cleverly put together, beautifully designed, and it comes in the flat pack, which I have just over my shoulder here. And that's how it will arrive. Uh, the beauty of that, of course, is it goes through a letterbox when it's only that size. It contains all the instructions, and those instructions are very, very simple to follow because they're graphic, 
There's none of this, I don't know. Does flange A go into flange B? And what happens to flange C? And I've got to put a hole in that one, but that's the wrong way around. No, none of that. It looks exactly as you see in front of you. Uh, the drawings are exquisite, and there is no mistaking which part goes where, especially where you've got uh, a part that looks similar on both sides. They designed these beautifully to indicate this is where the knot should be on the right hand side or the left hand side so you know exactly where it goes. As a starter model I think this is a really good place to be. I've built a lot of these myself uh, and I think this is one where you will begin to interest people particularly and there shouldn't be any sex relation to this to one way or the other but girls may prefer something that they can then go on to use. Not to say that girls shouldn't be doing racing cars and aeroplanes and boats but this might appeal to somebody who's never thought about building something with a gear, and we do need more and more girls to go into engineering. So it's an excellent way of starting that. The last time I was on, we had a wonderful letter from somebody who said, uh, when these first came out, I bought them for my son. He's now in his third year of engineering at a very, very good uh, UK university. And uh, that, to me, warmed my heart hugely, that uh, something like this, something as simple as this, gave somebody not only an interest that lasted them through their teenage years, but then into a career that they will build and a very, very vital career. We kind of dismiss engineering as I've, I've seen I've seen people come on a quiz show and somebody goes, Dan, what do you do? And they go, oh, I'm an engineer. And they go, yeah, that's boring. Next. It's not. Engineering is absolutely vital. We don't. Nothing is designed. Nothing is designed from milk cartons uh, through to bookcases, um, the simplest little things like zippers and so on. Uh, nothing is designed without an engineer. Uh, and if this is a way of getting somebody to think about that and enjoy it and participate in it, this is a great place to start. And that is the U-Gears Antique Box.